down the back of the programme during the show and then fold it in. It was the way I always did. It was the best of everything. I could stand there with the cast and ruin their evening and get paid for it. I was feeling generous that night. I gave them a mixed review. I got into the pub at about... I was involved in a production that I was um, costing and acting in and basically putting on the complete production. And the production failed. And due to financial resources, the sponsors pulled out and I didn't let anybody know this. I just pretended and carried on. And um, I went into what I now know to be a terrible low and decided that I was going to kill myself. Well, later on in the day, I decided that I couldn't do it. I rang my father and he then uh, got in touch with the police who were already looking for me and uh, they picked me up and I was sent to the South West Sector Recovery Group at 380 Streatham High Road, which is a mental health unit, which is for where I first met Davina Blunt, who is the occupational therapist. Davina became my occupational therapist and she's helped me immensely. She helped me to understand that to be able to sleep, common sense things like taking the television out of my room, making sure I didn't take tea, making sure I took my tablet, making sure that I got the right diagnosis by sending me to Dr McGowan because I could have ended up just being diagnosed with depression and the fact that I actually got the right diagnosis after all these years is down to her. Yes, I said, well, I was pretending I'd given it so much consideration it was hard to sum up now. Yes, I said, well, I think it's one of the best shows I've seen in years and anybody who knows what's what would be a fool to miss it. She basically went through with me and we found that it wasn't depression. Um, she sent me to a psychiatrist who, by using mood diaries and going through my past behaviour, uh, I was ended up being diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I certainly didn't know that I had bipolar. I knew that there were things wrong with me and I wasn't the same as everybody else because I would do ludicrous things, tell pointless lies that I knew would be found out and put myself in situations where I would get to a stage where I think, well, I need to end it all because that's all, that's all I want to do. As my occupational therapist, I feel that Davina has done so much for me with everything that she did, with all the effort that she put in, with trying to get my mind into some sort of state and order where I could function, has just helped me immensely. And I wouldn't be doing this one man play now if I hadn't had that help from her. Hey, this big red mushroom drink. This is back before I met the vampire. She's helped me get back to being basically what I am and what I do, which is an actor. So I owe a huge debt to her as my occupational therapist. Do you or a relative have bipolar disorder? Do you experience real highs and real lows? Are you unpredictable in your behaviour? Are you spending more money than you'd normally spend? Are you feeling elated one minute and at rock bottom the next? Is this condition stopping you from working? If yes, you could have bipolar disorder and an occupational therapist may be able to help you. If you think that you, a relative or a friend, may be experiencing difficulties in doing the things that you need or want to do and are not getting the most from life, you might benefit from seeing an occupational therapist. To find an occupational therapist, more information is on our website www.cot.org.uk Occupational therapy, helping people to live life their way.